The transmission in a motorcycle multiplies the power coming from the engine to move the bike down the road at faster and faster speeds. The vast majority of motorcycles have a manual transmission, so it's up to the rider to operate a lever to shift into lower or higher gears as required. Let's kickstart the report. Most manual motorcycle transmissions have a push-button electric starter, but some bikers still prefer this old-school transmission with a kickstarter. The transmission case is made from aluminium that's been extruded to a starting shape. A saw cuts a piece to the case length, then a series of computer-guided tools hollow out the inside and bore a pocket to hold the bearing in which the main drive gear turns. The main drive gear is what takes the power out of the transmission, eventually driving the rear wheel of the motorcycle. Once polished, the transmission case is ready to receive its 100 plus components. Workers assemble the bearing in which the main shaft turns, transferring power from the engine to the transmission. Using a press, they push this bearing into a bearing housing, then bolt it in place immobilizing the bolt with a few drops of permanent thread locking fluid. Then right next to the main shaft bearing, workers bolt the bearing in which the counter shaft turns, multiplying the power which the main shaft transfers from the engine to transmission. They press in a pin which helps accurately position this housing when it comes time to bolt it to the transmission. They apply thread lock to secure the bushing that holds one of two rods for the bike's gear forks. They want the rider manipulates to move each gear into a predetermined position. They suspend the second rod between the housing and the transmission case. They install the counter shaft to the counter shaft bearing and lock it in with the press. Then workers assemble what's known as the gear set. This is a six-speed gearbox, meaning there are six gears on the main shaft and six on the counter shaft. Each gear is held to its shaft by a high-strength steel retaining ring that's plated with yellow zinc to make it easy to verify that it's in the right position. The bearings are lubricated to ensure they rotate smoothly around the shafts. Putting the gear set aside for now, it's back to the press once again. This time to install the main drive gear bearing into the pocket that was bored in the transmission case. The red disc provides a cushion to prevent the press from damaging the component. Next, they press the main drive gear in the bearing. They slide the gear set into the transmission case and secure it with nine knots. They apply semi-permanent thread lock to each knot so they can be unscrewed in the future should the gear set need to be removed for repair. Meanwhile, a computer-guided mill machines the gear drum out of a super durable steel. The drum rotates when the rider changes gear, moving the gears. After coating it in black oxide to protect against corrosion, they install it on top of the transmission case. They assemble the kickstarter. When the rider kicks it, a series of gears rotate the main shaft inside the transmission. The main shaft is also connected to the engine, so this rotation starts the engine. The kick arm itself is stainless steel, the pedal bronze. Both types of metal are durable enough to withstand a good kicking and are resistant to corrosion too. For demonstration purposes, this transmission case has been cut away to show what happens inside when the rider changes gear. The gear drum rotates 30 degrees to pull the transmission out of one gear, then another 30 degrees to put it into another. A perfectly engineered piece of mechanical choreography. And now you know how it's made, that is transmission over.